What's up everybody? John Charmijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and want stuff. I got an album review to do for you and I'm going to be talking to you about the new album from the band Oncology entitled Omniversal Antigenesis. This is released on Rising Nemesis Records. Now, if you're not too familiar with this band, they are based out of uh, Polrain, Northern Ireland. And the best way to describe the sound of this band would be a very traditional aggressive, brutal style of death metal. Uh, yeah. My first introduction to this band was their 2016 debut full-length entitled Infinite Regress. Now, I didn't think that album was really reinventing the wheel or presenting anything new to be specific, but I thought that album had some very solid things going for it, and there seemed to be a lot of potential going for this band. The one thing that stuck out to me the most about Oncology is the fact that this band features a guy that I, I have seen pretty much grow and continue to make a name for himself within underground metal. I, of course, I'm referring to uh, this band's vocalist, Jeff Bradley. Of course, I, if you guys remember many years ago, I've covered a, one of his older projects with Oblivionized. I absolutely loved how original and creative that project was, but ever since then, he's been carving a niche for himself within the underground of brutal death metal, not only play, doing vocals for this oncology band, but also for a one-man project of his called um, Atonement. Uh, very solid stuff, and of course, he is only getting better and better with time. But moving into 2020, we have the second oncology album entitled Omniversal Antigenesis. It's nine tracks, and it clocks in at around 29 minutes in length, and pretty much listening to this album in comparison to the, to the first one feels very much night and day. There is some serious improvements going on here with this album, and you can tell by the way this album sounds, the way this album is presented, this is a much better and stronger version of Oncology than we've ever heard before, and I hope they keep it up this way. Uh, musically, I think it's a very, very solid album. There is really a lot to take in when it comes to this album. Of course, the guitar playing on here is very, very well done, very well played. A lot of memorable and catchy riffs to be heard throughout this entire record. Um, Celestial Ruination, Ravagers of Sy Synaptic Cruelty, Liturgies Etched in Blood. There's just some really top-notch songs to be heard on, on this album as far as the guitar playing is concerned. And as far as the songwriting goes, I think it's very, very solid. Um, the bass work on here is very good too. Uh, very clear, very audible, very well established. You definitely hear the moments on this album where you hear the, the bass works uh, time to shine. And I think it sounds really, really awesome. Uh, when it comes to the drums, this is one of the biggest things to notice about this album, because on the first album, you had standard fair sort of drum programming. But on this album, you get real drums this time around, and you can definitely spot the difference but with the drumming. Of course, you hear very natural snare, a lot of blast beats, and some hyper-blasting in certain parts, which I think works out very well to this album's advantage, and I think it's very, very solid. You can definitely tell the major differences between this album and the previous Oncology album with this drum performance. I think it's really, really entertaining. And when it comes to the vocals, like I said, I think uh, Jeff, uh, his vocals are very, very awesome. He has a very distinctive guttural sort of style going on here. Uh, he does some guttural growls, some squealing, some predators. You definitely hear a lot of vocal diversity going on on this album, and I definitely think he delivers a very memorable and entertaining vocal performance this time around. Of course, he's one of those vocalists that demands your attention and and can command you with his, his charisma and creativity. And I definitely feel like there's a lot of that here with his this vocal performance. So overall, I definitely think this is a much, much better album than the previous Oncology release. If you're into a straight-up traditional brutal death metal, I believe Oncology will whet that appetite for you with uh, Omniversal Antigenesis. I think this is a really solid album. 
Uh, if I didn't think, of, have I didn't think of any personal favorite checks, I would definitely have to say uh, Celestial Ruination, uh, Ravagers of Synaptic Cruelty. Uh, the title track is pretty good. Uh, Transdimensional Blood Orgies and Overture. The closing track is very solid too. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you some links in the description box as to how you can get a hold of this album and listen to it. I will leave you a link to the Rising Nemesis Records Bandcamp page where you can listen to this album in its entirety, hear it for yourself, and be your own judges to whether you think it's worthy of being purchased or not. You can stream it. Buy it digitally and it is available physically as a CD. You can buy it internationally through Rising Nemesis Records, and I believe Severed Records in the United States will have copies for sale as well. I think they're co releasing this album too. So, again, the album is Omniversal Antigenesis by Oncology. This is released on Rising Nemesis Records. Definitely check this one out. And for a score, I'm going to give this a pretty solid 8 out of 10. Uh, very top quality rural death metal going on here. I definitely think the, the, be the best of this band is still yet to come. So, if you happen to have heard this album, definitely let me know what you think about it and how you feel about it. Are any of you guys into oncology? Definitely let me know. I'm going to include this review. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Until next time, Army Hell out.